my gosh. Hi, I'm excited to be here. Hello, I like to just take a look at the whole audience and see what we have going on here. Oh, this is nice. Good looking people. All oh, real cute there. Hands on each other's crotches. That's so nice. That's early love, yeah. She even let him wear a tank top out. That's early. Um, like I love him that much. Oh, you're adorable. You're adorable. So cute. There's some young people here. That's uh, That does something for me. Uh, you guys. <laughs> I'm at an age now, I just turned 38, and I don't have any kids, so when I see, I'm sorry, miss, when I see a, a fetus-looking face like yours, um, <laughs> my ovaries start going crazy, sir. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm on a breastfeed her, sir. I want milk to go in her mouth from my body. <laughs> That's so cute. If you want to latch, you can bring your boyfriend. I got two. <laughs> might be the last chance for a barren woman. <laughs> you too, you're cute, zygotic. Okay. Oh, so in utero. This is good, you guys. This is good work. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Uh, I am I'm actually uh, married, you guys. I just celebrated three years of marriage. We have other married people. This girl, yeah, yeah. Are you guys married? No, I knew it. Good hands in the crouch and the tank <laughs> Once you're married, you're like, you put on some fucking sleeves, we're going out, Brian. I think this is. It is like a special outfit. You guys are so cute. I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to pick on her. She's like, she gets, I mean, she's seriously coughing because she gets it. That's so cute. It's the hat and everything. She's like, you look good just the way you are, then you get married. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Brian? You clean your shit up. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Is your name Brian? That would be so great. <laughs> would be a lot of be so awesome. His name is Brian. You guys are so. How long have you been dating? Two seconds. Oh, that's so cute. They just, they just met. And they're on to oral. It's so fun. Yeah. You're not ready for kids. It's cool. It's cool. Once nice. you get married, you're like, get that away from me. Um, <laughs> I'm married though. I like it. I like it. I don't like to rip on marriage because a lot of comics they'll rip on marriage. But I'll be honest with you guys, like, I don't really see the difference between when I was dating my husband to now being married to him because uh, I cry just as much. <laughs> like, all the time. All the time. <laughs> Only now it's better because now I have someone contractually obligated to watch me cry. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> like, he signed a piece of paper, so how stupid is that? <laughs> I looked it up, too, you guys, in case he wants to uh, run. You know, um, the average divorce is ten to $15,000. Oh my gosh, and we share a bank account, so I know he can't afford it. <laughs> no, way. no way, sir. I walk around our apartment every day like, tears for years! <laughs> This is what she signed up for her, panic attacks and all. <laughs> oh, did I forget to take my antidepressant and ruin your day? Sorry. <laughs> I like to keep it, you know. Exciting, sir. <laughs> He's just like, thank God I'm not with her. <laughs> He's gonna love you so much more. Thanks. Thank God. Crazy blonde girl. Oof. You guys are having fun. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say I know. People are like, don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> she says she's on antidepressants. Clearly things aren't going well for her. <laughs> I was misdiagnosed as bipolar for eight years. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah. It's a true story. I should have listened to my mom when I told my Minnesota mom, because I grew up here, you guys. Um, my mom was like, I think you're just hungry. And I was. I was always very hungry. <laughs> Starving. That makes you angry and moody, and who knew, you know? But really, I thought I was bipolar. Like, they gave me bipolar meds. I took it for eight years. I finally got a new psychiatrist who was like, no, you're not bipolar. You've never had a manic episode. Like, that's part of being bipolar, you know? He was like, you just have, you know, anxiety and, and, and depression. And uh, he asked me, he was like, uh, are, are you, aren't you happy? Aren't you happy to know you're not bipolar? And I was like, no, dude, I'm depressed. Um, <laughs> I'm happy about anything. <laughs> and then I thought about it and I was like, oh my god, like, 
I felt worse finding out I wasn't bipolar because then I was thinking like, how shitty is my personality that I was pulling off bipolar for eight years? <laughs> Finally, there's a name for it. Oh. Now it's just depression and anxiety, you know? Which isn't as scary because you tell someone you're bipolar, it's a very stigmatized uh, mental illness, you know? And so people would always be like, oh, are you going to be okay? But what they really meant was, oh, am I going to be okay? And I was like, I don't know. We'll see. Don't put sharp objects by me. I don't know. Uh, but now I just feel like the basic bitch of mental health. Everyone has depression and anxiety. <laughs> I lost my superpower. That's what I'm saying, basically. But I do. I, I, um, I like being married. I think because I feel like I'm going to tell you guys this. This two two second couple over here. Um, and also my beautiful um, uh, my beautiful fetus. Um, <laughs> I like being married because I feel like my husband and I, like we're an actual family, we're a team, we're a unit. Like if we did have a baby, you guys, we might be able to keep it. <laughs> Which is so exciting. And a lot of people tense up for that joke, I saw you miss. You're just like, mm -mm, not an abortion joke on my watch. No way. But it's not, you guys, it's not. It's not about abortion at all. Uh, the baby lives, it just lives with my mom. <laughs> what you call a Minnesota abortion. <laughs> Some of you people are only here tonight because you had one of those. <laughs> like, here you go, mom, I'm gonna go have some fun. <laughs> make some more babies, what? <laughs> if you don't know, sir, that's how you make a baby. You shake the back of your baby door at it, random guy. Drink a bunch of Mick Golden and then you just do this. Or Nighty Doodles. Preferably Summer Shandy in June, it's just nice. 